gentlemen. So check it out. I like the idea of tattoos. Whenever I see a guy and he's got like some sick ass sweet sleeve, I think dude is a badass. But there is a razor thin line between badass and dumbass. I should know because I was the proud owner of super sick crescent moon on my leg and a bumblebee on my back. <laughs> you bet I was making the ladies swoon with those two sweet pieces. Gentlemen, the total cost of my two amazingly masculine tattoos, $115. The cost to remove them, $800. Plus two damn years of painful laser removal treatment. So as you see, I have a love-hate relationship with tattoos. I hated mine, I love some other people's, but I also see a lot that I just go, oh, dude, you, what? <laughs> So gentlemen, in an attempt to keep you from making the same mistake I did today, we're going over 10 tattoo don'ts. Tattoo don't number one, don't ever get your girl's name tattooed anywhere on your body. I know, she's magic. You met three months ago and she is the love of your life. Well, dude, marry her. Just don't get her name tattooed because a marriage is a whole lot easier to get rid of than somebody's name tattooed on your body. Besides, trying to explain to your new girlfriend that Sheila with the heart TLF was your cat, it's kind of a tough sell. Tattoo don't number two, three, and four. Don't tattoo your face, your neck, or your hand. Who are you pissed at? Why would you think in the realm of tattoo placement options that your face, your neck, or your hands is a good option? You've got a sea of skin on the rest of your body, but if you can't cover it with a dress shirt, you don't need to be doing it. You want to single-handedly eliminate 95% of your potential employment options? Tattoo your face, neck, and hands. Dude, that's discrimination if I can't. No, dude, that's stupidity on your part. Tattoo don't number five, no lower back, Tats. That is a tramp stamp, and that's for chicks. Tattoo don't number six. Do not get your fraternity letters tattooed on your body, or do. And that way I know that I don't want to actually be friends with you. I'm, um, I wish I could say I'm kidding, but whenever I see a guy and he's got like Sig Ep or Sigma Pi or Beta Kappa Epsilon delivery, I automatically think that the guy is a douche. I am probably totally wrong, but in my experience, well, it's actually pretty accurate. Tattoo don't number seven, dude, get portraits of your kids. Now, it's a loving gesture, and I know you absolutely love your kids, but I've never actually seen it not look weird. All the kids' faces never look natural. They're always like kind of smiling, distorted, just weird. They look deformed. If you're ever wondering why when you show people your daughter's picture, they go, oh, look at she's so cute. Your names of your kids, cool. Pictures of them, don't. Tattoo don't number eight. Don't go with what's trendy and popular. And if you don't believe me, just ask all the dudes out there with barbed wire bands, tribal anything, or Asian symbols. Dork, 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 dork. <laughs> I can say that. A bumblebee and a moon, for God's sake. Tattoo don't number nine. Don't get anything on your body that you wouldn't be proud to show grandma. Mwah. <laughs> Nana. Last but certainly not least, tattoo don't number ten. Don't be impulsive. Take it from the king of impulse tattoos you need to think through what you're getting on your body because unlike piercing your ears, unlike cutting your hair, tattoos, they're pretty permanent. The best tattoos have a story, have a meaning, are special to you. And those are the ones that you're gonna be proud to wear for years to come. Ones that you're just like, yeah, I like that. Put it there. Those are the ones you tend to regret. Bringing us to the very important point, never go to a tattoo parlor when under the influence of anything. Including lust. Like when you're like, oh, I love you, Sheila. Right there. <laughs> nah. Definitely don't do that. Gentlemen, here's the deal. If you've got a tattoo that you're absolutely ashamed of and you wish you didn't do, there are some options and treatments out there to get them off of your damn body. And I actually did a video where I did a bunch of videos. I took you through the process of me having laser tattoo removal done. If you want to check out the last video and then you can find all the other videos, there's a link down below in the description. Gentlemen, tattoos, when done right and appropriately, oh! Mm, so damn cool. But there is a fine line between great and god awful. Please do us both a favor next time before you go and sit in the chair. Think before you ink.